you guys need to do for this. Um, again, when I'm looking at this diamond and I want to be able to identify how to factor this, basically, you know, somebody say, hey, Ms. all you did was put a box around it. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I just did. I just put a box around it. That's exactly what factoring is. This is the area. What are the side lengths? Okay? So what we need to do is we need to determine what can be the largest, what is one side length? What is one number? What is one side length that I can pick here that I can multiply by to get each and every one of these terms? And we call that the greatest common factor. So what is the greatest number that divides, that I can evenly divide into each one of those. And what's nice about the greatest common factor is you don't have to look at everything. Don't get everything so confused. Let's just look at the numbers. Our numbers are 9, 12, negative 3, and 6. What is the largest number that divides into each and every one of those numbers? 3. three. three. Now let's look at the exponents or their variables. So here I have y to the fifth, y to the fourth, y cubed, y squared. So you have the largest exponent to the highest power that divides evenly to each one of those terms is y squared. So guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Whatever your GCF is, that's what is going to be one of your side lengths. That's also going to be what you're going to divide out of each of your terms. Because it's the same method. If you want to forget about the box and just do it like this, fine. If you just like understanding the box, fine. But you choose one side length, and now basically what we do is we say, all right, break these up into four different boxes. 3y times what gives me 9y squared? 3y to the third power. Remember, when we multiply exponents, we add the powers. So then 3y squared times what gives me 12y to the fourth? 4y squared. 4y squared. 3 times what gives you negative 3y cubed? And then 3y squared times what gives you positive 6y squared plus 2. So now, if you guys notice, length times width, length times width, length times width, length times width. In the same thing, in the same breath, guess what happens when I divide? When I divide each of these terms out, you guys see that I'm getting the same answer. So I don't care what I'm trying to state with you. I don't care if you guys like using the box method or you'd rather just identify the GCF Lynette and divide each term by it. Either way, you're going to come up with the same answer. So therefore, my final answer is going to be what do I multiply by to get my area, which would be 3y cubed plus 4y squared minus y plus 2. OK, uh, Kujan, can you find a different seat? I really don't care anywhere where it's at. Just.